Hello guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Elden Ring quest guide walkthrough video. Today we're going over the entire quest line for Blythe, a wolfman who you first meet near the beginning of the game and who eventually you will get his armor and weapons. The quest also intertwines with the Rani one and Merchant Kale, although that part is optional, but we will go over it anyway. It's only a small part that he's in it. So let's jump straight into it and see where this all begins. At the start of the game, you meet the Merchant Kale at the Church of Ella, and after you travel to the Mistwood area for the first time, you can return to Kale, and he wants you to meet Blythe back in Mistwood. Now, you meet Blythe at the Mistwood Ruins in the eastern parts of Limgrave, and you can speak with him and continue on the game until you reach Rani's Rise. You can also see him again before this as a summon if you fight the Bloodhound Knight Darawil at the Forlorn Hound Evergol. But to be honest, both of these parts, meeting Blythe and using him as a summon are both optional parts. You can actually skip all of this and go straight to Rani's Rise and talk to her to start the Blythe missions. To really get this mission started then, go to Rani's Rise and talk with Rani after you defeat Ranala. You don't really have to, but it's advised. And at Rani's Rise, speak with Rani about her questline and she wants you to speak with the three ghosts in her tower, including Blythe. And once you've talked to all three, you can return to Rani. This time she wants you to talk to Blythe once more, but this time he's located in the Seofra River. And in my previous video, I didn't show exactly where to go, but this is how you find him in the Seofra River area. When here, he mentions now that you must go and talk with Celevis, located back in the tower next to Rani's Rise. And you can also start another quest here for him involving Nephili. You should do this quest first if you want to, as after doing the Rani quest line, Celevis is dead. However, it's a quest to get Celevis' sorceries, and you can still get them after he's dead. Celevis tells you to speak with Sorceress Selene, who herself has a big quest line, which I am going to make a video on after this one, and she's located in the Waypoint Ruined Cellar. So so whatever you do, make sure that you don't kill her. After talking to her, you can return to the Seofra River and talk with Blythe and tell him Selen's story. He tells you about a festival happening at Castle Redmain, and then you have to travel there and meet with him. Travel to the castle, you can use the teleporter to skip straight to the festival if you want to, skipping several boss battles, but don't worry, you can get those boss battles back after you've defeated Redan. Talk with Blythe at the festival and get ready to fight Redan. During the battle, you can summon Blythe to help you fight, and eventually you will defeat him. After Rodan's dead, you can talk to Blythe again, but after this, you won't see him until you've fully completed Rani's questline. And I'm not going to go over the details of that questline in this video. You can check out the Rani questline video if you want to finish that. But once you finish Rani's questline, you can travel to Rani's Rise, and you will see Blythe for a final time. But this time, he has turned hostile. Defeat him to get his armor and weapon. You can also travel down to this area here to get his wolf mask to finish off the complete set. So that finishes the Blythe questline, but if you want to find out what happened to Blythe, you can return to the giant blacksmith and talk to him, and he will tell you this about what happened to Blythe. Unthinkable. How could Blythe, how did he break free from his cell? No. More importantly, Blythe became a curse that plagued Lady Rani, yet even in madness, gave himself to her. I've made a grave misjudgment, and I thought myself a capable war counselor. I'll catch up with you soon enough, Blythe. When I do, I only hope you'll accept my apology. Now if you rest at the site of Grace, you can return to E.G. and you will notice that he has died, probably by suicide after he was feeling so bad about Blythe, but you will get his mirror helm, and I guess that kind of completes the quest for him as well. Guys, that is it for this, the Blythe quest guide video. If you want to see more useful guides for Elden Ring, then like and subscribe. I'm going to do a selling one next because that's a pretty long quest line and it's quite confusing as well, so look out for that. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.